Now, back here in this country, a group of lawmakers representing the ruling Senate Party and the main opposition Democratic Party were planning to take a preliminary look of the controversial 2007 inter Korean summit transcript today. But that plan was called off unexpectedly. Our Kim Young Ji tells us why. Ten select representatives from the ruling Senate Party and main opposition Democratic Party had agreed to visit the National Archives of Korea on Friday in order to choose which documents from the 2007 inter-Korean summit they would access. The summit materials are classified, but earlier this month, the National Assembly voted in favor of giving lawmakers access to the summit minutes and voice recordings of former South Korean President Noh Moo-hyun and former North Korean leader Kim Jong-il. They had argued that a partial disclosure of the document by the National Intelligence Service last month has deeply divided public opinion, and therefore it was necessary for them to examine the documents. Even before the disclosure, some members of the ruling Senate Party had accused President No of trying to give up the disputed inter-Korean western maritime border known as the Northern Limit Line to North Korea during the summit. The Democratic Party, however, rejects that claim and argues that President No had only proposed creating a peace zone around the Northern Limit Line with a joint maritime patrol. The bipartisan group of lawmakers was given permission to view the summit transcript to settle the argument. But all of that was put on hold following a controversial remark by a Democratic Party lawmaker on Thursday. Citing a term used in the book, Nobusuke Kish and Park Jong-hee, DP Floor spokesperson Hong Ik-pyo said it is regrettable that so many descendants of big-name political families are now the heads of state in Korea and Japan. The ruling Senate Party took issue with the comment and said it would not participate in the National Archives visit. Korean President Park Geun-hye is the eldest daughter of former President Park Jong-hee and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is the grandson of former Prime Minister Nobusuke Kish. The presidential office of Cheong Wade has also expressed its displeasure with the statement, saying that it is disrespectful of the people who voted for President Park. Kim Hyun-ji, Arirang News.